Hello everybody, it's Arnold Fax here, bringing you the facts again. How is everybody doing today? Um, so we're going to look at a quick update regarding Chris Watts. Yes, uh, the update we've heard is he is now out of Colorado prison and he has been uh, moved into a Wisconsin, uh, a prison in Wisconsin, which is uh, apparently a maximum security prison. Now, the reason for his move from Colorado to Wisconsin, they haven't really said, but in my opinion, it's because, um, you know, there wasn't a proper unit or, you know, also known as a wing uh, for Chris in the Colorado prison. You know, it most likely it was a maximum security prison, but in Chris Watts's case, you know, he has to be housed in uh, a protective custody unit, um, you know, a unit that is for people such as pedophiles and child molesters and uh, people who kill children, things like that. Just, you know, the disgusting, the lowest of the lowest scum. Uh, Chris cannot be in a, uh, you know, a general population unit with, you know, gang members and whatnot because Chris would be a target because, you know, just his crimes are disgusting. Um, they're the lowest of the low, you know, criminals hate that shit uh, because a lot of people, they have children of their own. They have wives and they would do anything to be out of jail and be with, you know, their kids if they could. And just looking at Chris, what he did, they just think he's scum. So he would get beat on. He probably, you know, would get shanked or harassed, assaulted on a daily basis. Plus, he'd be a prime target for um, a gang member who is, you know, uh, trying to do an initiation into a gang. A lot of time gangs, what they'll do is, um, you know, for a new member to be initiated, they'll have to say, OK, you have to go kill somebody. And Chris Watts would just be a prime target for that, you know, just because not every who knows if the guards would even care the warden would care probably not so much plus you know everyone would be giving him a pat on the back he probably could even get donations from half of america just to you know just from all the people who hate chris watts with a passion and want to see him dead so yeah that's why it's kind of dangerous for chris watts to be in a, a prison in general population so I'm assuming that's why they moved him out of Colorado. They didn't have a proper uh, protective custody wing there uh, or protective custody unit. So most likely that is the reason. Otherwise, you know, they wouldn't really have a reason to move him out if he's already, you know, been sentenced to the proper prison that he was in. Now, apparently it cost a lot of money also. It cost $12,000 of taxpayers' money to move Chris Watts from Colorado to the Wisconsin prison. $12,000 you got to pay for this scumbag just to, you know, keep him in a prison where he's safe and, you know, he's not going to be a target and assaulted every day by, uh, you know, dangerous inmates. Um, so now apparently there was a, it cost $7,000 in transport for the staff to, you know, the sheriff to transport him in their uh, secure vans. $1,000 per diem for the uh, corrections staff, the COs, uh, $2,500 on hotels, and an extra $2,000 also for transport. Um, what else did we hear? Uh, something that a lot of people are going to be very frustrated and hate to hear is that Chris Watts was eating like a king. Now, I'm not sure if it's just because it was Christmas time and maybe, you know, inmates got to get a solid meal and for Christmas. But usually if it's Christmas, you know, they'll have they'll have it in the lunchroom or I forget what they call it there. Chow, you know, for chow, they'll have, you know, a nice meal prepared. But apparently Chris Watts got to order a custom. I don't know if it was a custom meal, but he got to, uh, you know, make a special order. Uh, for himself and that usually is just reserved for people who are on death row you know the last meal apparently Chris Watts got to order a special meal for himself and uh, I don't know like I said if it's going to be on a regular basis but apparently he got to order a bunch of junk food lots of sweets he ordered six pack six packs of fudge brownies three boxes of holiday cookies powdered donuts and three iced buns probably cinnamon rolls i'm assuming something like that like that is very very luxurious desserts i don't even eat that you know for me to go out and get fudge brownies is that's like a special treat for me i would love that 
and you know just anyways you know that's very very good eating on his behalf and i find it disgusting that he's allowed to you know indulge and get uh um indulge in this and have be be satisfied with sweets right it just doesn't make no sense like that's not somebody who's in jail who should be suffering right he's getting to get what he want and you know people food is like i don't know food is it's it's like a it's like luxury food is a I can't really, uh, you know, figure out the words at this time, but, you know, it's a privilege. And for him to get all these sweets, fudge, brownies, holiday cookies, powdered donuts, cinnamon buns and all that, that's just amazing that, you know, somebody who is just sentenced for life and who should be suffering is getting to eat, you know, like a king pretty much eating these desserts. I wonder if any of the other inmates got that or was it just special for him? Maybe because they were moving him and uh, he had to order it on the road. Maybe that could be it also, but it says he w uh, he was able to eat it in prison. Um, so that's about it, right? I just hope that he's not able to eat like a king on a regular basis. Otherwise, you know, he that's not much of a... Obviously, being in prison is not good, but, you know, I wouldn't mind if I was in prison... The one thing that I would want is to have, you know, solid meals all the time. If I had solid meals all the time, I could make prison go by, you know, and it wouldn't be that bad because, you know, food, food is everything. If it's in your stomach, you're happy. Regardless, anyways, what do you guys think about this? What do you think about them letting him have six packs of fudge brownies, holiday cookies, powdered donuts, three iced buns? What do you think about that? Do you think um, should he be able to eat that? Was it just for the holidays or not? Doesn't really make sense, to be honest. And what do you think about him moving? Do you think he's in general population? Obviously not. Um, I wonder who else, you know, what other, if there's going to be any other notorious criminals that are in his housing unit at his new prison. What do you guys think about this? Let me know. Arnold Facts, and I'm out.